Gender is not in our creed. Thank you. I don't know why I got to follow Sonny Borelli, but he's a hard act to follow, isn't he? Now, one thing you've heard up here is about us defending the freedom, the defending the Constitution of this country. Is that not correct? Right. So if I want to wear this mask, I'll wear this mask because I'm defending my own freedom and your personal choice. Whether it's to wear this mask or send your kids to a charter school or whatever school is best for their education, you have an individual right by that document for the freedoms in which you believe in, not what I believe in, and not what someone else believes in. What is so hard for people to understand that when they take your freedom away, they're taking their own freedom away. Who in their right mind would want to live like that? Now, my name is David Cook. I'm the rancher from Globe, Arizona, and I represent District 8. I represent Pinal and Gila County. There is not a voter problem in rural Arizona. Trump won by over 75% in my district. He got 11 million more votes in his second term, while Barack Obama got 3.5 million less in his second term election. How did he lose? That he didn't. Okay, so we say he didn't. So let's be fair, though, because I really think us Republicans like to have dialogue, and I love to debate. So let's be fair. Let's find out if this is true. But here's what we're faced with. 11 hours of testimony, and thank you, President Trump, for tweeting out that soundbite, because what I heard the woman say on Wednesday morning, they thought they were done counting the votes, and then a truck showed up with a bunch of ballots in it. Now, that's what I heard. Now, she signed a piece of paper that swore to that, didn't she? Now, how is that not evidence of a witness of a potential crime? I don't know. I, I don't know. But that's what I heard. Now, what about the guy that got up there and said the only way that he could get the two angles to cross each other with the exact same vote is if the Democrat got 130% of the vote? Right? Now, that's what I heard. But shouldn't we have someone look into that to check his research to be sure? Because you, all of you, whether you voted for Trump or not, your vote matters. And we need to make sure the people of this state can have absolute assurance that their elections work properly and their vote counts. What is wrong with that? Okay. So they say there's no evidence. I'm getting beat up on Twitter. Sonny's getting beat up on Twitter. We're all getting beat up by these trolls on Twitter. But I still think in the back of my mind, how can you check their story out if you don't grant them access to the machine? Why is that so hard? They don't have to pay for it. Right? The other side. And then I ask myself this. Why is it four years ago, what did Elizabeth Warren say? She said, I'm scared of the Dominion machines, that they can be manipulated. Nancy Pelosi said their election was stolen and there should be a full audit. So can't we agree? Have the full audit. Have the full audit. Have the full audit. Have the full audit. What is so hard about auditing something? The IRS does it all the time, right? Now I'll probably get out of it, right? But, I mean, that's what you do. That's how you have checks and balances to make sure everything is on the up and up. But why are we shut down? Why are the chairmen shut down of the committees? Why? I'm asking why. All right. Last thing I'm going to say is I need your help to defend me and all those people that listen to those witnesses up there because we are trying to be made out like we're crazy, right, or unstable or whatever. I loved it. I got to listen to people's testimony. And when they can't beat you on policy, 
When they can't beat you on the facts and policy, what do they do? They personally attack you. Just like they attacked Andy Biggs, and I think that is sick, calling him a resident of crazy town. Right? He's a United States congressman that is a conservative, and I tell you what, he was the president of the Senate, and he's crazy? No, I don't think so. So God bless you. you got another wonderful representative up here, and we're here to support you, the people, and that's what I'm doing here today.